Oh my gosh, it's finally complete. Check this out. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Balanced Perception YouTube channel. And today we are back with Yoko's gun. We are going to be finishing off the painting for this. As you guys know, last time you saw this gun, I was just priming it and prepping it you know, for the final coat here, which is what we are going to be doing today. So uh, yeah, let's just hop to it. <laughs> All right guys, so as I said, today we are going to be uh, putting on the final, well, actually the second to final, I'm gonna put a clear coat on after this. But we're putting on this uh, Fusion All-in-One Paint Primer Gloss Black. Um, I think the choices are between satin and something else, but anyways, I chose gloss. We're gonna see how this goes. I have yet to ever actually try to spray paint uh, any 3D printed items. As you guys saw in my last video with uh, putting the primer on here, it went really, really well, so I'm hoping the spray paint goes just as well. But let's just hop to it and see what it looks like before. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few pictures of the before, and then we're gonna see the after and the process of spray painting this. So let's hop to it. Also, don't pay attention to my background. My garage is a little bit uh, cluttered at the moment. I've just been kind of lazy, you know, making videos and stuff. So I have a good excuse, but don't pay it any mind. Anyways, let's get to it. <laughs> guys so it's been a little while the paint has dried now we have drawn the lines on here I'm sure you can't see them but we are going to paint them in with this acrylic paint set I got at uh, Michael's it was actually like half off $20.99 so it was like uh, 30 oh, $15 wait 26 that's a 26 yeah and along with these brushes were half off too so we're gonna go ahead and paint in the colors here and go from there so let's hop to that <music> So it doesn't look bad. We're just gonna let that dry um, and try to smooth it out a little bit. And then we're just gonna put another coat on and then flip it to the other side. So I'm just gonna do that and be right back. All right guys, so today is a new day. I got tired yesterday and went to bed. Today's a new day and I'm checking on the acrylic painting I have done. Um, just to give you guys an example of everything, let me show you, this is how it's coming along. The color is great, but I just don't like the texture, the consistency, I'm trying to hit the top of the garage. But as you guys can see, this right here is two coats. That's this side, this side is one coat. So it's not that acrylic paints will not work, because they certainly do. I just don't like the consistency that they produce. Um, I can't really get it as smooth as I want. I mean, these are great maybe, um, and maybe I'm just not very good with acrylic paints, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards the latter, but I couldn't get it to go on as well as I want. So I went and got some spray paint and some masking tape, and we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. The same goes for the top of the gun. There are these red rings, you guys can see here, that are supposed to be on the gun. Tried the acrylic paint, couldn't get it to work. So we are now going to go ahead and mask off a large portion of this and do it that way. So let's hop to that. All 
right guys, so I went ahead and masked off the areas that I don't want to be painted. As you can see here, here, and let's see if we can flip this around without breaking anything here. So now we're just gonna do a quick spray paint of these. I hope I can spray paint on top of acrylic. I'm not sure. We're gonna find out together, so let's get to it. All right, we're using Krylon again. It's literally the same brand that we used to the um, paint the black on there. You know, I had no problem with it. So we're gonna try this sun yellow out. All right, everyone, we have since applied another layer of coat, uh, another, <laughs> another layer of coat, another layer of paint to this prop, to the yellow, to actually some of the black. There was a few areas I noticed I missed, but the red was good. So we didn't apply any more paint there. We're gonna go ahead and take off the, uh, the tape and see how it looks. You know, this is my first time doing it, so let's see how this goes. Hmm. All right, so all the tape's been removed and you guys can see it did not come out as nice as I wanted, but you know, for my first go, it's not that bad. Um, specifically here, you can see a bit of the paint got underneath the tape and you know, went up here. And it's not as clean as I would like, but you know, I, I can live with it. It's, it's not too bad. I may try to touch it up, but eh, I can pretty much live with the way it came out. It's not terrible, not great, not terrible, but it'll do. Just a note, if you are doing this, again, do not use the acrylic paints first. Those do not work as well. Just stick to the spray paint, and I think it would have turned out better had I done that. So that's a lesson for the future. All right, guys, so here we also have the red. Um, there was a bit of leakage also, and I think that's because I sprayed too much spray paint, so it kind of, you know, leaked into right here. But overall, not bad. Um, just gotta work on my technique a little bit more. I'm gonna try to clean this up and then we're just gonna move on to the next phase, which is putting on the final coat. So let's get to that. All right, guys, so I went back and I did the repairs. Um, I wasn't able to unfortunately get it just the way I wanted. Um, I still, this time, some of the black leaked over into the yellow and I know it's because of my spray painting technique. I'm just too close. Um, something I have to work on, but overall I am just, you know, I'm okay with the way that this is coming along. Um, this is it so far. And we're just gonna go ahead and move on now to the final stage of this gun. It has been a journey so far. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, but the last stage here and we're gonna do today is to seal it. Uh, and I don't see my sealer sitting in front of me, so give me a second. All right, so we have our sealer here. This is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Clear Gloss Clear seals, protects, and revitalizes. So this right here is gonna be the last step of our 3D printing journey. We have seen this thing go from literal 3D print to assembly, to painting, uh, well, priming, painting, and now sealing. So this is the final journey. I am hopefully, I'm just happy to, you know, at how this whole thing has come together. Um, again, this item is for sale in my Etsy store if you guys want one. Um, I may have the option of having it, you know, finished, you know, paint and everything. But for now, it's just gonna be sold as a uh, 3D print, you know, just assemble all the parts yourself. Um, I also will say, I have learned the importance of an airbrusher. I'm gonna invest in one, because it will allow for much more, you know, finer detail. Um, using spray paint, I cannot get as much detail, you know, as much control as I want, because, you know, the nozzle is just like psh, spraying everywhere. So that's something I'm definitely gonna have to invest in, but, you know, I think I did very well with the tools that I had. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and jump into, go ahead and um, clear coating this and getting it ready for, you know, our final whatever. And hopefully we'll be using it in a shoot in like two weeks, so let's hop to that. guys it has been a very long journey but here we have it the completed yokel's rifle from Gurren Lagann it has been sealed it's been painted it's been primed it's been 3d printed all of the above and it is finally complete so check it out 
All right, so <laughs> again, this is it. Yoko's gun, fully everything. Um, I learned a lot on this creation journey. Um, I learned a lot about 3D printing. I learned a lot about painting, a lot about priming, all of it. Um, I've made a good bit of mistakes, but hopefully I will not make them again. Um, just, you know, about where to place the nozzle for spray painting, using a uh, airbrush, I need to get one of those. Uh, a few runs on here, but overall, I am very happy with the way this turned out. I mean, I'm very happy, and uh, hopefully you guys like it too, and you will enjoy it in its upcoming photo shoot. So, again, this is the completed product. I will link everything, of course, that I use in this video. Um, there were tons of things from alcohol to spray paint to primer, everything. I will link it all for you guys. Um, if you are looking to do the same, let me know. If you do end up purchasing this off my Etsy store, hopefully this video will help you. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I still have Fishbone, which is over there to do. Um, and I still have literally, I think I've printed six or seven new items this week. My printers go nonstop. Um, and I'm also learning a lot about maintenance on those since I do run them really hard. But anyways, I digress, that's another topic. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video. Hopefully you made it to the end. I know it's a very long video. I greatly appreciate it and hopefully ah, we'll see this in a photo shoot very soon, depending on if the model is ready or not. But anyways, thank you guys. And until next time, stay boundless. See you all, bye-bye. <laughs>